Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about classification of matter. Matter, as we all know, is anything that has mass and occupies space. It can exist in different phases such as solid, liquid, and gas. Matter is divided into two categories. It occurs in nature as pure substance or mixture. A pure substance is any matter that has a fixed chemical composition and characteristic properties. But when two or more substances are mixed together, the result is called mixture. For example, air. As we all know, air is composed of nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor, and other gases. Then we can say that air is an example of mixture. But its composition, which are the nitrogen, oxygen, and water vapor, are examples of pure substances. Also, pure substance can be divided into two categories. A substance that cannot be broken down into chemically simpler components are called element. Like for example, the aluminum which is used in soda cans and the gold which is used in jewelries are example of an element. On the other hand, a substance that can be broken down into chemically simpler components because it has more than one element is called a compound. Example of this is water. It composed of elements hydrogen and oxygen. And sugar which is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now, the other one, the mixture. The mixture is also divided into two categories. These are either homogeneous or heterogeneous. Homogeneous mixture is one in which the composition of its constituents is uniformly mixed throughout. A homogeneous mixture may also be called as a solution, in which one substance, the solute, dissolves completely in another substance, the solvent. Usually the solvent is a liquid, however the solute can be solid, liquid, or gas. Other examples of homogeneous mixtures include sugar water, which is the mixture of sucrose and water, and gasoline, which is a mixture of dozens of compounds. Meanwhile, a heterogeneous mixture is a non-uniform mixture in which the components separate and the composition varies. Unlike the homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture can be separated through physical processes. An example of a physical process used is filtration, which can easily separate the sand from the water in a sand water mixture by using a filter paper. Some more examples of heterogeneous mixtures include salad dressing, rocks, and oil and water mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures involving at least one fluid and separate if they are left standing long enough are also called suspension mixtures. Consider the idea of mixing oil and water together. Regardless of the amount of time spent shaking the two together, eventually oil and water mixtures will separate with the oil rising to the top of the mixture due to its lower density. Mixture that fall between a solution and a heterogeneous mixture are called colloidal suspensions or just colloids. A mixture is considered colloidal if it typically does not spontaneously separate or settle out as time passes and cannot be completely separated by filtering through a typical filter paper. A colloidal mixture can also be recognized by shining a beam of light through the mixture. Just like when you use flashlight amidst the fog, the beam of light will be partially scattered by the suspended nanometer sized particles and can be observed by the viewer. This is known as the Tyndall effect. In the case of the Tyndall effect, some of the light is scattered since the wavelengths of light in the visible range about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers are encountering suspended colloidal sized particles of about the same size. In contrast, if the beam of light were passed through a solution, the observer standing at right angles to the direction of the beam would see no light being reflected from either the solute or solvent formula units that make up the solution because the particles of solute and solvent are much smaller than the wavelength of the visible light being directed through the solution. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.